It overloaded the power grid in Quebec and created northern lights that could be seen as far south as Florida. The building rumbles. Through an accredited I thought you were upstairs. They still need to go on the dryer. How can you possibly survive this? I'm just telling you. What should you do if you are caught indoors in an earthquake? Should you A. Run outside immediately, B. Stand in the nearest doorway, or C. Get under heavy furniture such as a desk or office table? Before you choose, you need to know what you're up against. earthquake is movement of the earth, shaking of the earth, and part of that is the movement of blocks of the earth's crust. We've got stress that's built up, and when this happens, when the two sides of the fall, scrape past each other, and as they're scraping past each other, these waves radiate away from that fault, and that's actually what you feel during an earthquake, is these seismic waves that have moved away from the earthquake itself. Scientists measure these waves with seismometers, giving us the familiar Richter scale, or the more modern moment magnitude scale. The largest recorded earthquake in history was a 9.5 in Chile in 1960. The devastating quake took the lives of over 1,500 people and left nearly two Make sure you clean out the lint thingy, too. Make sure you clean out the lint thingy in the front before you turn it on. The wind thingy, and get the wind out of it, put it in the garbage, and then put it back in. That's kind of like what the aftershocks are. Typical earthquake lasts only a couple of seconds to several minutes. 